way the short course is set up, we spend the first part of, uh, of our two and a half days together learning about confirmatory factor analysis, learning about the distinction between latent variables and indicators, and how to build measurement models, how to test for dimensionality, how to test for the presence of higher order models, and all of that, uh, uh, that technology and statistical information uh, is important background in terms of understanding structural equation modeling. Uh, but the point is that for many, if not most people, the interest is relatively less on um, measurement types of issues. And theories exist that say more than just latent variables are correlated with each other, or that correlations amongst latent variables can be accounted for by higher order factors. And instead, most of our theories end up identifying exogenous latent variables for which we have for, uh, direct measures or indicators and models propose that those exogenous latent variables are related to other endogenous latent variables uh, in a way that is representing some type of structural or causal influence. And then also these types of models propose that even amongst the endogenous variables, uh, that there can be, quote, these types of causal relationships. Those are the types of theories that most researchers in social and organizational studies areas work with. And basically, what we've been doing is trying to build the uh, skills and knowledge to bring us to the point where we can now learn uh, how to evaluate those types of models. We have two exogenous latent variables and two endogenous latent variables. I have quite creatively labeled them X1, X2, X2, where the X is for exogenous. And let's remember that what makes them exogenous is that there are no arrows going to those latent variables. That's by definition what an exogenous latent variable is. Alternatively, we have two additional latent variables that um, serve as dependent variables within this particular model. 